My name is Mark Cerning, and I'm the lead system architect for PlayStation 4. You know, there's so many places you can play games today. Historically, that wasn't true. If you go back to the early 90s, Tetris sold 30 million copies on Game Boy. It was a killer application. Today, games can be played on tablets, smartphones, portable consoles, home consoles, PCs. And to get the attention of the development community is very, very difficult. My name's Andrew House, and I'm the president group CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment the division that's producing the PlayStation 4. I think, you know, the PlayStation 3 was an extremely ambitious and absolutely superb piece of technology. Having said that, it came with some inherent challenges on the business front. We looked at PlayStation 4, I think there were several sort of key principles that influenced our design. And some of it I regard as getting back to the very best of the PlayStation DNA. When PlayStation 3 wrapped, we all started to do post-mortems. Uh, it had been pretty brutal, frankly. The hardware was very, very hard to use for the developers. And I, I just couldn't stop thinking, maybe there was a different path. Maybe there was a, a hardware that could be made where it would be more natural uh, to make the games. I'm Shuhei Yoshida. I'm the president of Worldwide Studios for Sony Computer Entertainment. Because games are big, getting bigger and bigger, and the games teams really wanted an ease of development at the very low end, and really focus, wanted to focus on making game itself. So, you know, PS3 is very powerful, but it's, the architecture is so unique that, you know, our engineering team had to spend a lot of time uh, specifically working on that architecture. I ended up kind of throwing my hat in the ring and just proposing to Sony Computer Entertainment that I would lead the PlayStation 4 hardware project. He has extremely deep technical knowledge and therefore commands the respect of engineering teams on the hardware and architecture front. But he is, as everyone knows him best, also a really uh, talented and very successful game developer. I mean, this was beyond unusual. This was in many ways crazy. Needless to say, I was very surprised when they, uh, they said yes, that I could go ahead and take on that role for the project. I suspect, though, what was key simply was that we'd reached the point in games overall that it was appropriate to bring the software creators into the room when the hardware was being designed. I mean, ultimately, it's all about having the best games on the platform. Short term, we can expect some very good games. Long term, I think we can really look forward to the growth in games. I mean, there's a lot of untapped depth in the hardware. But you know, as we go forward, year three, year four, I really believe that we're going to see um, those techniques used to make the games, uh, of course, more graphically attractive, but also make the worlds richer and more interactive. I mean, the concept with Knack is really about creating a mashup between a Pixar-style family film and a character action game based around this very unique character called Knack. On the hardware side, um, we are benefiting from the power in the PlayStation 4. The game runs uh, full HD, so it's 1080p native. We aren't scaling it up. And we have a character that's driven by a 5,000 part custom physics simulation. I mean, there's a lot of detail in those images. We'll learn a lot more about what can be done with PlayStation 4 once we get a look at them.